Philadelphia. Yes. Um, how is it? How have you been fitting in with this running backs group right now? Oh man, we're all looking really strong. You know, Coach Foster has us looking tremendous. So it's just a blessing to be out here. We're all hungry, and we can't wait to get this going. So we're gonna get our opportunities, and we're really looking really strong this year. So yeah, definitely. Seems like there's a lot of different styles in that group. What would you? How would you kind of describe your running style? Uh, me, I feel like. I'm a little bit more balanced, definitely change of pace type of back. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm like really shifty. I like to get speed because, you know, speed is one of my strengths, so I like to run. I can do a little bit of both lower my shoulder, but definitely I like to I like to hit it one cut type of back for sure. Yeah. Tell, take us kind of on the path that, that brought you here from, from Davis. Oh, yeah. So I was at UC Davis for about two years. It was my only uh, scholarship offer at high school. So, like, that was my only shot I had, so I took it. I was there for two years. The whole coaching staff got fired. It wasn't like, it was an ideal situation where the new guys came. I met with them. I talked with them. You know, they had a plan going ahead. They told me I should have been a part of it. But at the end of the day, I really wanted to, you know, do what's best for me. Like, challenge myself. I felt like I could have competed at this level. So I went ahead and took my opportunity here. But it wasn't, it was not an easy road getting here for sure. But I, I swear, that's pretty much the basis. What, what, what was appealing about UCLA to you? Oh, so it was just the fact that, like, this is always a place that I've always wanted to be at. You know, who doesn't want to come here? You know, it's, it's UCLA. So, And it, my permission to contact, the only schools I had in state were here in SC. And then it was just a crazy process, you know. Like, it kind of was a situation where it was just like, man, like, you know, am I doing the right thing here? Like, I'm putting myself in a really tough situation. So I talked to Coach Foss after about, <laughs> it took a lot of attempts. Like, it took about like a week for me to actually get in contact with him. Went back and forth and, you know, he gave me a shot, you know. He really gave me a shot where no one else would have. So I really appreciate Coach Foster and Matt Bernstein. They were all giving me a shot for this opportunity. That's how I ended up here. What was it like sitting out last year? I know you had looked really good yeah, in fall camp, but then sure. you couldn't play. How, what was that like? It was tough. It was really tough, you know. It was also a little blessing in disguise for me. I was able to, like, learn a system, but obviously the system's not here no more. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just good to know all my teammates, mm -hmm. get to know the coaching staff, get to know, like, my surroundings, academics fit in. I learned a lot. You know, I obviously wish I can contribute, but um, I'm here ready to go this year. How did it feel when you got your scholarship? Oh man, <laughs> that was amazing. That was, that was, it was unexpected. Like we had a team meeting and I'm up there. I'm just like, all right, like, okay, we have a team meeting. Then at the end of the team meeting, he calls me to do the break and I do the break. And then after that, he says that announcement, you know, it was, it was like, it was humbling because I was thinking about where I was a year ago, you know, thinking about like where I, I wasn't even here. I was like offered a walk on opportunity. And now it's like, wow, like, <laughs> I'm not saying it kind of paid off yet, but it's just like, hey, really, it's a start. It was a start, and I'm grateful for Coach Kelly for it. And he also says not only will you be on scholarship, but he says he expects you to be a significant contributor. Oh. What does that feel like to be kind of one of the, the oh, guys man. who's going to do that? Oh, yeah, that, it felt great, you know. It was, it was nice. I just want to contribute however I can, whether it's special teams, offense, either way, whatever the coaches need me to do, I want to do it and attack at 100%. You also were quite good at returning kicks at Davis. Are you sure. doing any of that here? Oh, uh, I think that's up to the coach's decision. Mm -hmm. You know, wherever I take reps at, I'll just do it. it doesn't matter if I'm front line or back there returning. How'd you go about finding contact with Coach Yeah, Yeah, oh, so. yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. I contacted the front desk. You know, the front desk ladies, they picked up. <laughs> it's not a lot of colleges do that. So they picked up and I asked them, I was like, you know, can I speak to Coach Foster? happened you know he picked up answered he was so cool with it because you know how coaches be you know they get so many calls from recruits weekly so he picked up the phone he talked to me and that's how it happened but he said it took like two months yeah it, yeah, yeah it took yeah it took two months i went out here you know i participated in the camp we had mm -hmm. he got to see me person it took two, yeah it took a while it was a process you know but he was he was patient with me he could easily just cut me off like ah, i'm done mm -hmm. with this kid but it was like constant communication, you know. I guess like he felt how serious I was about it. I'm just still grateful for him to this day. He said you were emailing him too? Did you yes, try everything? I tried. <laughs> Anything you guys could think of, I tried. Like yeah. email, calls, text, 
I didn't have a social media outlet at the time, but mm. that's what I was doing. It, I'm telling you, it was like every day. <laughs> I'm telling you, he probably got tired of me. <laughs> Man. In fall camp last year, you had a few plays that got everyone off their feet on the sideline. I remember. Man. I know it's a year ago now, yeah. but what was it like coming in and then making that kind of an impact, where your teammates were like, "Oh uh, yeah, congratulating you." Yeah, and, uh, yeah. yeah. It was. It was really like, I don't know. It was kind of surreal to me because I was thinking like, I don't know if I'm ever gonna get reps. You know, like how's this gonna work? And then every time I have this mindset that no matter where I got, I gotta make an impression. You know, like I got out here, I made it. This is where I wanted to be. I did all this for this moment. I got to, whenever I'm out there, make an impression. So that's what, how my mindset was, you know. Some things bounced my way a bit. <laughs> so for sure, that's how it went. What do you imagine that first game in the Rose Bowl be like? Oh, man, I've been dreaming about that <laughs> for a year now. It killed me every time we had a game last year. I would travel, you know, I'd be watching, and I'd just be like, I can't wait for my moment to come. You know, when I'm out there and running that tunnel, playing in, like, one of the most historic venues in the world. So. It's kind of, I'm getting a little bit antsy because it's two weeks away, you know. I'm kind of jittery, a little bit nervous, you know, but this, that's exciting, you know. That's exciting when you're playing at the Rose Bowl, so I can't wait for sure. Where did you watch? Yeah. Oh, well, you know, we're getting day by day. We're getting better and better, you know. We're all looking strong. We're all looking fast. We're getting better and better. That's the biggest point. Where did you watch games last year? Where were you during that? Oh, the yeah, Rose for sure. I was on the sideline, mm -hmm. definitely watching. You know, I was up front close you know getting all of it encouraging my teammates mm. so yeah that's where it was i was just like man can i just scoot over and get on the field <laughs> that's what i wanted to do but yeah a year later now we're here what would you say is the biggest difference between playing in one double a versus, versus oh this it's for sure about i want to say the biggest difference is about you know the tension i would say like mm. how these bigger programs get a lot of attention they get a lot of like i want to say like more love you know mm. i feel like there's a lot of good players still at both levels. Mm -hmm. It's just that I guess the mindset about this level is a lot of players want to go to the NFL. They want to pursue like bigger and better. So there's definitely, yeah, I will say. You were talking about how you like to kind of exploit your speed when you yeah. heard Chip, Chip Kelly was coming in here. He's known for yeah. speed. How? What were your first reactions to hearing? Oh his? man, <laughs> you know, it was it was it was something. You know, it was like wow, like we're getting one of the best coaches in the entire nation. You know, and it was also. A moment where you know coach Moore, he did a lot him and his staff did so much for me so yeah it was it was an exciting moment for sure but i've always got to respect what coach Moore and them did for me but coach kelly obviously he's one of the best you know he's he has he's transcended this level of college football and you know we know what he did in the pros he did well too so you know we were all kind of excited we're happy you know coach kelly's going to do big things we we believe in the process for sure did you know his name was once spelled K-E-L-L-E-Y in a media guide? Oh, for real? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so you, can, you can amaze him with that trivia. Oh, wow. And when, he was, when he was coaching the running yeah. backs at New Hampshire, they misspelled it, and they spelled it K-E-L-L-E-Y. So. Man, that's funny, because they always do that here. Every time it's K-E-L-L-E-Y, and I'm like, there's another E. <laughs> as long as it's on the jersey, it's fine. But, yeah, that, that's funny, though. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Good. Yep.